it's time to review some guitar strings for this guitar string review video. Hey guys, this is Ruroni K95 here, and once again, it's time for a new video because today we're gonna be doing some thing of that I haven't thought of doing one like this before. This is gonna be a guitar strings review video because I have never done anything like this kind of video before. Because so before we begin my guitar strings review video, I have a quick little word I have for this one. I have been doing my ongoing planning for the battle jacket I have because I got patches that I had from my previous video. Let's see if I have them. Where, where, where is it? Yeah, it might be here somewhere though. Yeah. Let me see if I have it as well, because, well, oh yeah, I do have them right there. So there has been an ongoing planning for putting, these are the patches I have as well. Like, if you haven't seen my previous video where I did my unboxing metal patches that I got are from Amazon online through Amazon Prime. The link will be in the description down below if you want to go check out my the link to the original video that I have uploaded since yesterday because it was the first time that I had to do this one because we're long overdue for a new video that's why because I have been coming across for this as well accordingly which I remember though. Not only that guess what? I have got my opportunity of this as well. So, and also, not only that, I checked on Amazon, my Metallica back, Master of Puppets back patch, it's coming in the mail, so it's going to be part of the ongoing for the back patch unboxing because I'm excited for my Metallica Master of Puppets back patch. It's going to go on my battle jacket, though, because I just want to give you the words for this, because this explains why. Because I have been coming across for this, like, accordingly as well. Yeah. So, I'll tell you more about it in this one after I review it. So we're going to be doing a review on these guitar strings and this is something that I have never done like these before which I haven't, which I forgot should have done until now. We're going to be reviewing these guitar strings on here and that is the from Jim Dunlop and this is the heavy core guitar heavy guitar strings for the electric guitar for just from Jim Dunlop as well because this is the first time I had to get a couple of these on there via Amazon online though because I never knew about these as well because They're, they're all coming this as well, because I had to get these on Amazon Prime, especially if you get two packs of drinks of the, from Dunlop guitars on there, because this is perfect from there, because, and I consider the, these to be my favorite guitar strings from Jim Dunlop on there. I think I might like it over Ernie Ball. Well, Ernie Ball, you have to be in the mood if you want to pick some strings on there. But this you can throw in any time, though, because if you don't know about the those Dunlop heavy core strings on here, okay, the heavy core guitar strings are for guitar players that want to tune down on these electric guitars on there. 
like if you have the Hagstrom guitar or the Jackson guitars or the ESP LTD or the Ibanez guitars or the Charvel guitars on there and even Dean guitars you know like if you want to tune down your guitar like the drop C tuning or the drop E tuning or the drop D tuning like if you want to tune a half step on your guitar on here the only way you can do that on your guitar is you're, if you only use what I have here is the heavy core nickel plated steel electric guitar strings which is the 10 by 40 eight heavy guitar strings from Jim Dunlop guitar products on there because this is the ones you wanted to use especially if you ever been playing guitar though as well especially how they have been crafted these strings to have a certain feel with the tonal definition on the standard tuning, or even if you have the dropping below the E on the strings of your guitar, electric guitar. If you could play with your natural attack on the retaining the tight low end on the strings, on the mid range with a smooth top end on your guitar, though. However, th these were manufactured by Dunlop Manufacturing because. This is my favorite from all of Jim Dunlop products on there, or which is Dunlop Manufacturing, by the way. I I have opened the other one, but this I'm going to do this for the review on this as well, in case you're wondering. As well, because and this is the one that I had. I opened this one, and this came aim with these on here. <coughs> And I like how they change it on here. Instead, they put in there, it says, Performances is everything. Oh, and it came with these on there. And you have to focus on what string you use. Oh, it says the string legend on the guitar strings from Dunlop. The 48 string on here. It's the silver white one. And the black on the guitar strings. It's the 38 on the... I used it on the guitar and it's in the black on there. Yeah, because these were put out by Dunlop because I just wanted to come across for this as well. However, this is the newer package that they made as well. Although I do have the older one as well that I have right here with me because like my old one which is this one that I got at a guitar art at a music instrument shop as well because this one was like 12 bucks when I got this back in 2017 because there it says tight low end designed for the drop tuning smooth feel and the quick attack on your guitar strings on here however these were dump manufactured by Dunlop Manufacturing. Mm -hmm. Yeah, these are the... This is for your, like, electric guitar on there. However, this is the old edition, though. Although, we do got the new edition from Jim Dunlop uh, as well, because... This is all interesting, though, because I have wanted to come by for how... And, for overall, I used yeah because I had to take out the older strings from the uh, skinny top heavy bottom guitar strings from uh, Ernie Ball because I thought eh, why not I just decided to install the heavy core guitar strings from Jim Dunlop because when I did this on my guitar though because because I wanted something that I can tune down half step on your guitar like any type of tuning like the drop C tuning like if you want to play some songs by death clock on your guitar you have to put it in the drop C tuning like if you're playing some melodic death metal on there because 
if you are ever been thought of it. And there's also the drop detuning, because compared to the regular slinky guitar strings from Ernie Ball, because I don't know if you could have, if you ever done that on the the Ernie Ball guitar strings, the regular slinky one, but I highly recommend these are the strings you might want to use, like whenever you want to do some drop tuning on your electric guitar especially the ones like if you even have particularly of how you wanted to come by for how this is the thing for how to my whole curiosity about how how you wanted to picking a guitar strings in a own little proper way of you wanted to like particularly of you ever tune a guitar and the only thing for this is that you want to pick something, right? Like, if you have a guitar with the, the humbucker pick, uh, the, the, the Stratocaster copy I have, let's say, for example, like, because I have installed the heavy core guitar strings on there, on my guitar as well. They're not for the acoustic guitar, but it's only for the electric guitar. Yeah, because if you ever been playing guitar, though, as well. Okay. This explains why. And there you have it, as well, because, yeah. I have installed most of the strings on there, on my guitar. And, yeah, this is the, yeah, I used... The other strings, I still have them there, but the new string I have right here, this is from the newer edition of the heavy core guitar strings from Ernie, uh, not Ernie Ball, uh, Dunlop, Dunlop ma guitar manufacturer products as well. And this is the string I use. Yeah. So, this is how I have to restring this guitar though. I still have the other strings on here, but hopefully it would sound okay though. I mean, if you have one, and also the strings that are long and I try to cut them though, I finally did when they were right there. So, because in case I don't want to catch my hair under this, these strings though like that, because like if you're head banging when you're playing guitar, like if you're in a band though, because you're gonna have to use some string cutter, string guitar string wire cutter tools on there. Like if you want to cut the strings on there. As long as you're careful, then you're gonna be okay, though. So this is particularly of what I wanted to come by of how. You ever thought of how I've been coming across for this as well, accordingly, and this is explaining for that as well. <clears throat> yeah. Not only that, guess what? I have installed the new string on this guitar, and this is the uh, the Stratocaster copy from uh, yeah Spectrum guitar, which even though I've already crossed off the logo that says Spectrum on it with my thumbnail because I thought it was cool, so I was trying to make it like this instead of. Name, having a name from some brand like that ever from what everyone knows but anywho this is the guitar I have and I plugged this in because I was trying to give it away for how I wanted to have like a heaviest guitar tone on my amplifier pretty soon I might do a guitar amplifier review video soon I might do that at one point because I'll do it for the most part when I can re ever review a guitar amp for the most part. But anyways, overall, this is the best guitar string products from Dunlop Manufacture because what can I say? I love Dunlop. And this is 
I like I'm starting to like Dunlop a lot more than Ernie Ball in my opinion. Yeah, because for the main story that I have remembered, I mean about my guitar and when I switched it over to Dunlop. Well, back then I did had some strings from Ernie Ball on there, like the regular Slinky, and then I used it for the skinny top, heavy bottom guitar strings and on there. When, when they were on this guitar though, which is between 2013 uh, to 2017. By 2017 comes, I had to switch it over from the uh, Ernie Ball skinny top heavy bottom guitar strings, and I I kind of like installed them, replacing it by installing some heavy core guitar heavy guitar string ones that are manufactured by Dunlop on this guitar on there and I tuned it up in the standard tuning on there and it sounded very good though because I just wanted I had the good because I had a good this is the main reason of how I install replay uninstalling the Ernie Ball skinny top heavy bottom strings for the to replace them with the heavy core guitar strings by Dunlop guitar or products because you have to get something that you need a better sound on that one and also from what I've learned about this accordingly because and the reason the real reason why I installed the heavy core guitar strings from Dunlop guitars products well, the reason why is that I had to get, well, I did have this back in 2017. I think I've been using it for a long time until I, you know, like, when I was playing um, Life in the Fast Lane by the Eagles on this guitar back in uh, 2021, I jammed along on the strings like this as well, because I'm getting really good at becoming a good guitar player. However, this string right there, for all of a reason, broke. Yeah, I had tried to retune it, but it turns out, I looked at the the back on the edge of this string, it was a little breaking, and I broke the string, though. Yeah, so, I know how that feels. It's, it's tough whenever you're trying to cope with you ever after you broke a guitar strings because I couldn't get on any I don't have any I forgot to get another pair of strings though but a couple years later even though it's 2023 I've been thinking about restringing my guitar and I had to order a couple pack of these guitar strings from Dunlop and this is how they changed the product like this as well and I had to open this one up, and then I had to install. I had to restring my guitar, which is this one right there, and it's finally now restringed on this guitar once again. And now I started playing guitar as well because I wanted to come by for. Whenever you want to become a good guitar player, though, because I have finally installed the new string from um, heavy core or er, 10 by 48 heavy guitar string electric guitar strings from Dunlop guitar products which they're owned by Jim Dunlop as well because I'm starting to like these products from uh, Jim Dunlop guitars products on there as well because I just wanted to come by for that is something new that's why because I wanted to know for this as well and yeah ever since I have installed these heavy core guitar strings from Dunlop guitar products manufacturing on that one the longer strings like these on the top on this as well I kind of cut them as well with the pliers on there just so I thought it makes it look a lot more cooler like especially whenever you're 
when you're playing guitar cover to like uh, thrash metal songs or death metal songs when you're learning how to play it on this guitar and you want to headbang it as long as your hair is not caught on this then you'll then you'll be okay as well especially if you ever been playing songs from like speed metal thrash metal or death metal on the guitar though as well yeah it you know like most metal guitarists in heavy metal bands have been headbanging while playing the guitar like that's how they do when they perform live on stage at the gig on every certain concert venue what most metal bands did as well and this is how I wanted to come across for this accordingly and this is particularly for what I wanted to come by and you know because I had to get the pack of Dunlop heavy core guitar strings because I ordered a couple packs of these as well because I wanted something though that when you want to restring your guitar though because although my guitar string broke and I don't have another pack of guitar strings sometimes I have patience though but not to worry I finally got a couple pack of these because I've been thinking about it because I have patience for this as well and, yep, this is all new to me, though, because I have finally installed the string gun right there, so I can finally play guitar as, as well, because I wanted to learn to play guitar more often, though, because most of my hobbies in general is what I play mostly, guitar, not just reading manga or whatever, but... Playing guitar is the best way I like. It's part of my hobbies, though, because I wanted to play guitar and write, play, if I can write some songs on there, like if I wrote some metal songs, I might plan on being in a metal band at this point. However, I can use this guitar whenever I record some tracks on, guitar tracks on here, whenever you're recording a uh, so, uh, when you're doing it, recording a song with your metal band, I can use this guitar whenever I uh, record some songs, guitar tracks on that. But the guitar I wanted to get, that I plan to get one, whenever I perform live on stage, I would say probably the the Jackson Flying V guitar one with the Floyd Rose tremolo setting, like. If you've ever been performing live with a band on stage as well, at the gig as well. As long as your guitar strings are manufactured from, uh, which is under Heavy Core Guitar Strings by Jim Dunlop Guitar Products Manufacturer. And you can also, wanted to come by for this as well because, I thought this is new to me though because, I thought of something new though because I have been thinking about it as well because that was very interesting because I started getting into plan on how I wanted to think about forming a, a band I would if I want to form a band I would be like probably uh, a thrash metal band or a death metal band you know, if I could find a singer, the drummer, and a bass player, and another guitarist, if I can form it with rhythm and leads on there. You know, because I just thought of something of how I've been thinking about forming a band as well, because, yeah, it's okay if you can form a metal band, especially if you have the experience of playing guitar. And you can use some tremolo picking on your guitar as well. What I come by to that as well. So that's going to be it for my guitar strings review on the Dunlop Heavy Core guitar strings for today's guitar string review video. Thank you for watching. Click on the subscribe button and subscribe to my channel, especially if you're new to my channel, especially if you're watching the, the channel though. Hit the notifications bell button. Be sure to get notified also as well for more latest updates just to keep you notified as well for more. Smack the like button if you enjoyed the video. Let me know your thoughts in the comments by leaving your comments 
some ideas or suggestions in the comment section below. Just let me know if you like as well. And also be sure to check out my anime plan or analyst at your leisure at this point because I've been literally getting in a letterbox as well. And I'm also getting into this other one called Band Mix, you know, where you look for some musicians though because I have been playing guitar very well. I har I can basically play guitar more often and when I can I haven't write any metal songs yet, but I will plan to write some metal songs on when I can form a, a metal band at this point, though. So, yeah. I could plan to start a metal band at this point. And I can use some audio samples from, like, movies, TV shows, if I could put them in some thrash metal songs on there. Because that's the idea I have as well. So, this is Ruroni K95 saying, thank you for watching my video, and I'm glad you liked this video. I hope you enjoy it. Hope to see you soon for the next video. Be sure to stay safe and stay healthy and have a great weekend. This is Ruroni K95 saying thank you for watching my video and I'm glad you liked it. I hope you enjoy it. I hope to see you soon for What's the Store. This is Ruroni K95 signing off and thank you for watching my video. And I'll see you soon for more videos that we got them for, planned for What's in Store. Take care. Ta-ta for now for a guitar string review video.